How is it possible that only 92 elements are found in the natural world, but there are millions of different types of substances? The secret is that atoms combine into compounds, which provide the great variety of chemical structures that make up the different substances we find in the universe. Compounds are made up of combinations of atoms. When atoms bump into each other, the electric charges of the nucleus and the electrons of one are felt by the other. This is the electromagnetic force that binds atoms together. The way they do that is by sharing or donating the electrons in their outer shells. There is a natural tendency for atoms to seek equilibrium and fill their shells with electrons, and they do this by combining with other atoms. The more full the outer shell of the atom, the greater its stability. An ionic compound is formed when an electron from one atom is lost to another, and the two ions form an ionic bond. They are held together by their opposite electrical charges, but they remain as individual ions. A molecular compound, on the other hand, forms when atoms share some of their electrons in a covalent bond. Oxygen, for example, has eight electrons. In order to become stable and have a complete outer shell, it needs another two electrons. Hydrogen has only one electron, but when two hydrogen atoms combine with an oxygen atom, the three atoms in the molecule will share electrons in order to fill their outer shells. Two atoms of hydrogen and one of oxygen is a molecule of water, H2O, one of the most common and stable substances on our planet. In some instances, two atoms of the same element combine. Oxygen in the atmosphere exists as a molecule of two oxygen.